We've spent a week at the Disneyland Resort. Want to know who does it best? Disney World or Disneyland? Uh, Stick around to find out who wins. Okay, who does it better castle-wise? This is Sleeping Beauty's castle. We have Cinderella Castle at Disney World. Who wins? It's a hard choice. Um, I, I'm gonna use my tie card on this one and say it's a tie. Okay. Because I appreciate them both for different reasons. Obviously Cinderella Castle is a grand spectacle. I believe it's the most photographed place in the world. This is has so much history behind it. She's small, she's quaint. She she's doesn't tidy. require a lot of upkeep, which I appreciate <laughs> in a home. But yeah, I think she's beautiful. I love I love the, the history behind Disneyland. So it is it's it a is, tie for Frankie. It is a tie for me, but I'm a worlder. I'm Cinderella's castle to me is is everything. So for Riley's score, world takes the cake for this one when it comes to castles. Edition. Big Thunder Edition does it better. Um, for me, Land takes the cake on this one. Uh, the explosion at the end that they uh, added for the diamond celebration is so amazing. Like, it just adds the thing that it was missing. And I think this one's a little bit faster and just a hair longer. So for me, Land wins. I agree. Obviously, Disney World is a little bit nostalgic for me, but I still think I'm not... I'm being loyal by <laughs> liking this one more, but um, but yeah, Disneyland also takes the cake for me for Big Thunder Mountain Edition. Okay, yeah. Ahoy! From Pirates of the Caribbean. Ahoy! Disneyland versus Disney World. Who does it better? I think. I think land wins for this one. It's significantly longer. There's a lot more scenes. There's a lot more happening. You start in the bayou and you kind of go, there's just like, it's it's land, land wins. Agreed, land wins. There's also two pretty decent sized drops. Yeah. Uh, kind of right, one is in the beginning, one's kind of a little bit after that. Um, just to add more of an exciting element Life that fun. Walt Disney World does not have. Disneyland for me as well, but Mad props to uh, Disney World because that's also one of my favorites as well. Oh, yeah. Beware of the eye of Mara. For Indiana Jones um, and the, I guess, we call it a sister attraction. Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Hey, the eye of Mara. Yeah, the uh, maybe like cousin to the dinosaur. Cousin attraction to dinosaur yeah. in Animal Kingdom. Um, and so who does it better? I'm through and through a dinosaur girly. I love the the kind of corniness. The pre-show's great. I don't think it's corny. It's like a fun corny, like, and it's just always, that's, that's my ride or die attraction there. I will say dinosaur indie is fun, but I do prefer din the dinosaur uh, story. I cannot choose. I'm having a really hard time picking one because the storylines are so drastically different, like to me, the cousins is even like a, like that's too close to call them. Yeah. They're like very distant it, fourth they're cousins. They're besties. So I'm gonna tie it. It's a tie for me. Depends on what sort of scare you're going for. Yeah, it is the same attraction. Like ride vehicle is the same. The, I believe the track, if I'm not mistaken, is also the same. Yeah. Um, I think one of the but, main reasons it feels really different is the, when you go, you look into the eye and you, like the room is really open so you can see other trucks uh, where in dinosaur you're like your vehicle is you're alone so i think that's why the main reason it feels really yeah. different even yeah. though the track i have heard is identical yeah so, right. so tie for me dinosaur for me but really there's no wrong answer yeah in our They're both winners yeah <laughs> We're at the Jungle Cruise. Dad Joke Central. Who does it better? For me, it's Walt Disney World. Same, I like, Orlando does it better. I like the length of the ride is longer. Yes, there are some things that each other doesn't have. Like here they have piranhas. Here they have, they shoot the, like the fake pellet gun or BB gun, whatever it is. That's loud. Um, they don't do that at Walt Disney World anymore, but um, 
I think I just enjoy the length of the ride. You get to go through the temple in Walt Disney World, so for me. And longer ride means more dad jokes, and I'm I'm all in for that. So yeah. for me, world wins. Yeah, hands down. Wow, easy. <laughs> Tiki Tiki Room. Um, this is just gonna be Riley chooses who does it better because Frankie doesn't like birds, so the Tiki Room just isn't her thing. <laughs> um, for me, land wins hand over fist, foot, whatever the thing is for this one. Um, the pre show in Disney World, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Uh, the pre show here goes through all your Tiki gods and sort of explains what they do. And it's just this like cute little detail and you can skip it if you like, it's just happening around you. You don't really have to pay attention. Um, I also love this one because the Dole is the true sponsor of the entire attraction, not just the Dole Whip. So you can get your Dole Whip and you can go inside and enjoy it while you're watching the Tiki Birds do their thing. Um, and it's just a tad bit longer here which I like, I guess if you didn't like the Tiki Room, then that world would win for you on that note. But for me, Land wins Tiki Room debate. So put it put it in the count. Yeah, what she said. Yeah. Paging Mr. Morrow. Space Mr. Mountain. Tom Morrow. Okay, who does it better, Frankie? Space Mountain version. So Space Mountain is currently closed for refurbishment. So we didn't get to ride this trip, but on my last trip here years ago, I do remember liking Space Mountain here far better than Space Mountain at Walt Disney World. It is a lot smoother of a ride. You sit two by two, so you you actually have someone to sit next to. It's not like a straight uh, seating arrangement here. And you actually get to like sit almost like in a chair as opposed to your legs being yeah. right out in front of you. Yeah, a little bit more pleasurable of a ride. Yeah, it's easier to get experience. in and out of. Land takes the point for Frankie. Land also takes the point for me. The soundtrack that they pump mm -hmm. in is just like this Mission Impossible space pump you up thing. It's better here. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. Not that I would ever skip Space Mountain and World. Like that's something that's always on my, I go, I do it every time I go. But if I had to pick, it'd be this one. We're at the little monorail station. Inside the park. Inside the Disneyland. So we're in Tomorrowland. And that's where the station is inside of the park. The other station is in downtown Disney, but closest to the Disneyland hotel. Mm -hmm. Who does it better? Mm. I'm going to say World for this one. The monorail itself is like a little bit bigger. More, do more people fit on it? I don't know. But I felt very, very large in the monorail it's, here. So very many. small, yeah. like it's probably just a little bit taller than I am when it, you pull, it pulls up. Yeah, it's not it's not very big. Yeah. It's cute. It's small. It's it originally was just an attraction that kind of took you around the Disneyland Resort, and then they added the station in Downtown Disney, which then was the Disneyland Hotel station. Um, for me, World wins hands down. They mm -hmm. don't do the please stand clear of the doors here because the cast members come and close the doors. Um, so for me, World wins. Yeah. It's actual transportation there. Uh, this is more of an attraction here at Disneyland. So, World for me. World for me. World for Frankie. The happiest cruise to ever set sail. That's what they tell me. Yep. Um, so who did it better? Who does it better? I much prefer Disneyland. I don't even think there's a whisper of competition. Yeah. With that. <laughs> Um, so no here way. in uh, Disneyland, it hardly ever rains. California is known for its non-rain. Um, so the, it does start outside, and we're a little bit far away, but the, the you call it a facade, right? Facade. The yeah. facade of the clock and all the countries, and they've got beautiful topiaries out front, uh, which we can't have in Florida because it rains every day. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, land winds for me as well. What I love most about Disneyland is the fact that they've taken the Disney characters and put them into their respective countries. And so it's almost like a like a hidden Mickey hunt mm -hmm. to like go find, maybe you'll find a Nemo, maybe you'll find a Lilo, maybe you'll find a, a Jesse and a Woody. Mm -hmm. So you never know who you're, what you're gonna say. Keep your eyes peeled for yeah. Disney characters. Um, and just, 
world doesn't have them. Yeah. I couldn't tell you why. But um, yeah, so land for me for sure. Alrighty, we are in California Adventure, the home of Oogie Boogie Bash. And uh, Magic Disney World and Magic Kingdom has Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Who does it better? Walt Disney World, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. For me, there's a lot more to do. I feel like you get a fireworks show, you get a parade, you get a stage show, you get obviously the treat trails, you get multiple ride overlays, you get special character meetings. Yeah, meet. special characters. And I felt like Oogie Boogie was kind of lacking in that. There's no fireworks, there's no stage show. Um, so it was definitely, it was definitely cool to be a part of and, you know, go to, but I think for mo most bang for your buck, I think uh, Not So Scary takes the cake for sure. Yep, mine is world as well. Not So Scary is literally like my favorite thing to do on the planet. So Oogie Boogie Bash had some very big shoes to fill and it sort of met my expectations about halfway. It was fantastic, I loved it every minute. I love that we got to do it and I would do it again, but if I had to choose, not so scary. World wins. Mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. That's a long name. Uh, this was the replacement for Tower of Terror uh, just a few years ago. So it is Guardians of the Galaxy themed. Mm -hmm. um, gone is the Tower, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror that is still at Walt Disney World. What so is your sisters, really? Because the sisters. sisters, yeah, yeah, like half sisters, half sisters. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pull out my tie card. Disney World, I think, is the absolute. I've been on three different Tower of Terrors, and it takes the cake hands down compared to any of the other ones. And the theming, it was just, it's so good. Like the Tower of Terror, all the Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. It's scary, it's spooky, it's supposed to be that way. And when they said they were getting rid of Tower here, I like absolutely wanted to hate Mission Breakout. And I got off and I absolutely loved it. It's so much fun. The rocket animatronic is so good. Um, and the, the, the music is just, I, I don't know. For me, it's a, it's a tie, I can't pick. I can't pick one. I love them both with my whole heart. I know Jimmy said this earlier, if it was Disneyland or Tower of Terror, not Guardians versus Walt Disney World, I would go with this one. That one was better, I think. However, I am gonna go with Mission Breakout. So land wins for you. Land wins for me. I feel like I wrote it a couple times and both sequences I had were really, really good. Felt like at World, Tower of Terror, the sequences can be inconsistent. Um, some of them are really, really good and some of them are like, I waited an hour for this. Right, it was yeah. Really late. <laughs> you get one time, good drop. Yeah, one time, both times I've been on that, it's been absolutely, uh, like genuinely like screaming because it's, you feel like you're just getting yeah, shot up and down absolutely. nonstop too. It's not like you're, you stop. There's no pause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do love both of them. So it's, this was not an easy, this was one of the harder, harder, um, picks. harder picks for sure. We're standing in front of uh, Radiator Springs Racers, which is the sister attraction sister to Test Track in Epcot. Who does it better? <laughs> I don't even know. I didn't, you can just look at this. Yeah. Radiator Springs Racers. I'm not even a big Cars fan, personally. Yeah, but me neither. You look, watch the movie Cars and you're like, they should make a ride out of this movie. And Boom. they literally, they did it. It's ex the exact same ride vehicle as um, Test Track. So you're in the, your a car. six person car um, and you're driving through. The, the canyons of Radiator Springs, and then you have a little race, and you see all the characters, and you see Mater, and you see uh, Doc. It's got speed, it's got, you know, character, it's got everything. The animatronics are everything. really, like, unmatched. I've mm -hmm. really not seen one since they made racers in, like, the newer chart. Other than Rocket in Mission Breakout, yeah. that really kind of match up to that. I like to say that uh, Test Track hobbled, so Radiator Springs racers could fly and bring us into the light. Mm -hmm. um, ha there's no competition. No. Disneyland wins. Bright suns. Bright suns. We have the black calf coffee from Docking Bay 7. Um, so it's a cold brew with this creamy stuff and then we got cocoa puffs in here. 
And so uh, we're going to do Who Does It Better? They do have this in Walt Disney World. They most certainly do. We didn't love it in Walt Disney World. They listen. So. Not anything to write home about at all. Um, land wins. This is fantastic. I would tell you to go get this. It's supposed to be a cream cheese flavored foam. So it's oh. like like a sweeter, like thicker. If you like, it's not like anything crazy flavored. Like it just tastes like coffee with like a sweet cream. Yeah. Um, a little bit richer maybe. And the but... Cocoa Puffs add a nice little, little crunch. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, land wins for sure. here in Batu, we're going to talk about Ogas and who does it better. Anyway, they have one at World, they have one at Land. Our experience in Land was not fantastic, like at all. We got sat at a dirty table, the servers were not, they were like full of attitude, the bartenders weren't having any fun. Honestly, if it came down to it, I would tell you, don't make reservations, skip it, the drinks are more expensive, they're smaller yeah. pours. Yeah. World wins by a landslide. Yeah. It is like one of my absolute favorite things to do at Disney World. And I don't even like Star Wars. So, World takes the cake World on that one. easily takes the cake for that one. Yeah. Get that reservation. Go to Oga's in Disney World and Hollywood Studios. You will love it. Promise. World wins! from Toontown, uh, the home of Vicky and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Aha! So, who does it better, world or land? It's the exact same, <laughs> except the queue, which I will get to Disneyland. If it's Ooh. the theme better, at, in Orlando, it's just the, you're walking through the Chinese theater with some movie posters, but very, very cute, lots of fun little details. And I'm not gonna give it to Disneyland as well. I think that it belongs here in Toontown. I think having in the Chinese theater, the way they set it up makes sense, but I think theming-wise, Toontown is really, truly the home where, where Minnie and Mickey, they live here. So uh, I think land, land wins for me on this one. Yep. That's a wrap on our Disneyland versus Disney World. Who does it better? Yeah. Who, who's the winner? Who's the winner? And the winner is? Drum roll, please. Drum roll. Disneyland. Disneyland. Woo! That was a tight race. Very was, tight race. Um, we do love both places <laughs> equally for different reasons. Absolutely. Um, I, I was kind of surprised that Disneyland won. Right. Um, but it's the, the OG, the OG park. So um, a lot of great attractions at both, obviously. But boy, was it fun. I had a blast. Trying both and comparing and contrasting. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a great time. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers to Disneyland. Thank you so much for coming along. Let us know who you think does it better in the comments below. Um, and as always, like and subscribe for more. Yeah.